Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Monster Rancher 2 Advance, Advance 2. One of those two titles. In the last episode, Ivan was retired and turned into a coach, so now it's time to create our third monster. I have decided how I'm going to handle the creation. I do appreciate all the suggestions you've been giving me for codes, but I don't want to be tempted into knowing what the monster is ahead of time. So for the code itself, what I'm going to start doing is using your... Nope, didn't want to talk to you, lady. I'm going to start using your names, your screen names on YouTube, as my codes. And then, didn't mean to go here either. And then, use your name suggestions in the comments as the monster name. So, I can use more characters on my tablet. I have eight characters to work with. Well, that's perfect because the first one I want to try is our mod and... Stand Hold on, let me... God damn it. I, I should probably fucking... All right. L-E-D-G and... Wait. Yeah, that's eight characters. D-G and... Air. Okay. So we're going to see what we get when we use Ledge's name. I'll now regenerate your monster. So let's see what Ledge is. And then I have a different name picked out for the actual name of the monster. Never mind. Ledge Nair is too powerful for what we are trying to do. <sighs> I need to do a lot more... Let me see. I need to do a lot more of those invite tournaments or whatever. We're going to need to get somebody up to the point where we can start doing the invitationals. I'll have to experiment and see if there's summoning sickness in this one. Or if I could fr- Wait, I recall trying that before. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not going to do the roller. Well, I mean, thanks for the- wait. I hadn't tried that before? Because he just said he put a new page in the book. I do remember we were going with Nissi because I was limited to four characters at first. Alright, let me let me try Nissi. Or Nicey? Whatever that would be. I remember right that's too powerful to Okay, so I bet you those are the invitational monsters. It has nothing to do with my barn being too small or whatever. Yeah. Maybe Nessie is a dragon or whatever. No, I didn't mean to do that. Wow, I've already wasted three minutes of time. Okay, the next monster, uh... Let's try... Tari F. Let's see what we get here. Oh, it ignored the space and everything after it, huh? Okay. Tari is a Lumiu. Lumiu. Huh. And I don't think I've raised a Mew in any of my YouTube runs. Sure. Why not? Let's give the kid a name. Well, looking at the... Looking at the this, Tari also suggested the name Floofin, so that works for a cat. So, Floofin it is. Floofin. Although this Mew is more Red Ivan than Ivan was. I don't... Floofin... Floofin looks like... First of all, Floofin seems like a girl, and I don't know why. Maybe just because the name is from Tari. But Luvin seems like... Like she's really trying to flip me off multiple times, but she just doesn't have a middle finger to do so. Or she's doing a very dumb dance move. But either way, we are going to raise Floofin to be the best she can be. Because I do know Mews are predisposed to power. So let's take a look at her initial numbers. Pretty balanced across the board. Loud voice moves are more likely to succeed. 
Okay. Sure. And she has a hop, kick, and a stab. Both are D accuracy, with hop, kick having a lot of damage. Stab not having as much damage, but it's only half the power. So immediately I'm like, well, she's gonna need accuracy. Alright, Floofin. Let's, uh... Start you off strong with Pinhead. Hopefully the coach can work out. Okay, well, that's not unexpected since you are a baby monster. Wait, I wonder if Monster Ranger Advance 2 is the same as other Monster Ranchers where the babies need to have easier training at first? Hmm. Also didn't check your... You like sleeping and dislikes nothing. Okay. Alright, so let's just stick with... This for the moment? Well, that's just adorable. Okay, yeah, let's just stick with the self-taught for now. What breeder? We should, we should try to go. It's a useful session. Your face is a useful... Se what does that mean? Never mind, that sounds naughty. If we want to take part, let's head for Agima with the suggested monster. Floofin seems to be a little tired. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's try it. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, here we are. Hello, welcome to Agima. Uh Explorer? Maybe? No, that's just wait. What? Okay, I'm confused. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go here. I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. There doesn't seem to be anything else to do. Maybe she's just not... Maybe Fluvin isn't high enough since she's just a baby? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. <sighs> I'm trying to remember what the circumstances were in order to do the breeder training. Maybe I needed it to be at least a B class or something? I don't remember. Well, whatever. If you know what the hell that referred to, please let me know in the comments. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing there. For now, we'll just keep training Floofin until we get somewhere. See, this is already making me happy that she's succeeding on these accuracies. It's alright. Three minor trainings and then a sleep. Aw, oh, it's like she deflated. This reminds me that Oops. Do better, Floofin. We got Nisi a onesie because she keeps licking her, a particular spot on her back. And we're trying to stop her. And the wa the onesie has watermelon print, which is also her favorite toy. And so we thought it was kismet. However, Nisi hates the onesie and she keeps finding ways to wiggle out of it. So we're trying to figure out solutions to that. <laughs> Floofin is tired. That's good. Okay. Meow meow. Floofin looks really energetic. Yeah, we can just keep this up for a while. I don't really have a number I'm attempting. Right now it's more just get that accuracy up and also get the bonding up. And I guess I should check to make sure she... Okay, so now she's fat. So we'll switch her back to uh, oranges, I guess? Since there's nothing she doesn't like, then oranges worked so well with Ivan, we may as well try it with her. Alternating fish and oranges should be just as good as alternating meat and oranges, I would assume. Great for diets, only marginally filling. Even if she doesn't fully like it. Yeah, she likes it enough. Oh, I say hello. Oh, is this a training delay? Ooh, awesome. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's let's totally do that. 
Um, go ahead and rest, and we'll just do some training next week. Some sparring, rather. I probably can't get any new moves yet. I'm gonna run through the list real quick. Okay, as expected, all of the coach and course combinations make it say that it will be hard to learn a new move. So I'm not really expecting anything here. However, let's do the accuracy course anyway, thanks to the sale. Whoops. Still weird that that defaults to no, in my opinion, but that's fine. Okay, Nazi, teach me about accuracy, even though you have 310 experience points. Oh god, 22% chance to hit and an 8% chance to hit. And Nutsy has an 82% chance to hit. Yeah, this is gonna go poorly, but that's fine. Because it doesn't seem to matter how we do in these fights. Wow, Floofin gains her guts real quick, though. I love that she just jumps around everywhere. She's basically a red-colored Nisi. And now she's unconscious, so again, she's like a red-colored Nisi. Nisi is taking a nap somewhere. 19 points. That's not bad since she was averaging only 4 points per gain. And she's not hurt, so... Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, that's fine. She is not ready for the official tournament. Are you kidding me? Reliance 16. Yeah, we need to... We need to wait just a hot minute longer before we... Come on, Floofin. You can do better than that. Don't let your cute little whiskers or whatever, or you can't distract me with your cute little whiskers or whatever. And you constantly telling me to go fuck myself for some reason. No, we're not doing that, Holly. Shush. Shush. Where is the shush button on you? I'm sorry, Holly. That could be taken as misogynistic. <laughs> Have a fish. I trust you, Holly. You're wonderful. Uh, okay. I don't know how long to do these mini ones. Maybe maybe once her alliance gets up to 50 or something like that. But we'll just stick with the basic training for now. I don't need her to completely go crazy yet here. Yeah, I mean, what we need... De okay. What we need desperately. Ah, shit, she made me laugh and I don't know why. No, I won't scold her. Because all of her moves have D class accuracy, we either need an accurate move or we need to get her defense up very quickly. Defense accuracy. I'm sorry. You know what? Here's what I'm going to blame. I. It, First of all, hashtag not sponsored, which will be obvious once I finish my blathering. I, we got Arby's for lunch, which already, I mean, you, you are already giving up at that point, but they advertise some boneless wings with buffalo sauce, and I am a sucker for boneless wings with buffalo sauce. So I decided, we decided to go try it. And they have a buffalo sauce and a hot honey sauce. So I tried both. It's... It's not good. Um... So... First of all... Here's a picture of the hot wings. That's the buffalo sauce. And you know you're in trouble when you use that much sauce because it says you don't have enough confidence in your breading or your chicken to justify the food so you try to cover it in sauce and cover up the mistakes like a comb over when you're bald so i was already not sure it would be good and i put the first bite in my mouth the breading was super thin and fell off the meat the meat tasted like i was chewing through an actual tendon and the sauce was fine but it tasted like Frank's Red Hot, which I would rather just make my own chicken nuggies and put some breading on them and then put Frank's Red Hot on them instead of spending way too much money for the friggin' pleasure. So Arby's food is disgusting. And that 
Should not be a surprise to anybody. I mean, it's fine in an emergency. It was edible. It wasn't as bad as, say, a McDonald's burger, but certainly not something I would recommend. Unless you are desperately hungry and B-dubs is not near you. Otherwise, go to B-dubs. Still hashtag not sponsored, but I will absolutely whore myself out for Buffalo Wild Wings if they ever want to sponsor me. Hey, Buffalo Wild Wings, sponsor me. I'll, I'll totally sell out for you. It was an unpla- I'm trying to remember the last time I've had a satisfying meal from Arby's. Because I've- I mean, it fills me up, it sates me, but satiation is not satisfaction. And, it's, it's, yeah, as the Akamura just said, it's been a while. Every time Arby's comes out with something new, I try it. And the last time I tasted anything was delicious was when they introduced, like, a mint chocolate chip milkshake. Which is not their core food. It's a flippin' milkshake. And yet, that was the only good thing on the menu. Arby sucks. I don't regret our meal, the Akamura, because at least that we at least we got knowledge. And that knowledge was to not eat at Arby's anymore. <laughs> but I got in a nice walk with you and we went to the dollar store and got a Pepsi, so you know, that's fine. Yeah. Not say why didn't you have Oh look at that! See accuracy 27, so already this is helping out. And Floofin got a new trait? Okay. But not a new move. Let's... Floofin is tired. Let's see what that new trait was. Reek feet. Feet moves hit less, but can give psych physical damage. Physical? Psychological damage? What? Psychic damage? Up mind. Ups power, accuracy, and tolerance of mind moves. Uh, okay. But you're not an intelligence-based monster, so that doesn't help with anything. Okay, let's give you... Let's keep working on your... Wait, what's your reliance at this point? 37? Keep working on your accuracy for now. I would prefer Alliance to be at least 70 before I take a, take her into a battle, but maybe it doesn't- Stop telling me to go fuck myself, Floofin. You know what? You should go fuck yourself. Like your Arby's. Thank you. Aw. The little side-to-side -side wiggle is cute. Okay. Eat some fish. I don't know what your form or figure or whatever the term is, is. Yeah, yeah. Definitely renew with strong. Holly, I have big news. News? What kind of news? Same voice. No more exploration of Tapoda. What? What? Have you heard about this, Pyro? I... Holly, you're attached to my hip. You follow me everywhere. I'm lucky I get to poop in privacy. Of course I haven't heard of it. A monster ran away from its ranch and is in Tapoda. All the explorers and scholars are being attacked. It's a mess, but just during December and January. That's just awful. Could it be that Joker, Mr. Oh. Mr. Mardock mentioned? It must have had at least some training. I bet they're having a hard time catching it. Hey, is Mr. Carnip safe? Yes, he's just fine. He was working on a plan with Mardock at Agima. They're forming a special patrol of volunteer breeders. Really? That's good to hear. By the way, how can Mr. Carnob just ignore his Fimbo work like he's doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. He's the boss, ladies. He can do whatever he- If I want to say fuck it and not record for a month, I will. It doesn't help the channel, but I can just do it. It's nice being in charge. So does this mean I'm not allowed to- to do that? Hold on a minute. I, I'm gonna... She, she needs some rest, but I want to see if I'm just straight up not even allowed to go.
It says I can. Tapota has been deemed a danger zone for the time being. Exploring during December and January is strictly prohibited. Please explore only during the other months. Okay. So... See, I was wondering if I could join the patrol and help take down that monster or whatever, but I guess not. All right, well, whatever. That's going to do it for today. Thank you much. Thank you all very much for watching. Welcome to the team, Floofin. I'm sure you'll do just fine. I will see you all tomorrow for another episode.